cars are fundamentally kinetic objects. Um, I've been to some absolutely stunning auto museums around the world and it's an absolute joy going there. But for me, it's seeing cars being used. I mean, if I could use an analogy, say, to comparing animals. You know, you can go to a zoo and see elephants, tigers, lions in an enclosure. Or you could, say, go to Africa on a safari and see animals in the wild, in their natural environment. Of the two, I know which I prefer. Hi, I'm Stephen. I live in Aldbourne in uh, North Wiltshire. I'm a cabinet maker. And just about 10 years ago, I decided to uh, move away from making furniture and uh, restoring vintage cars and the ash framework and all the interior woodwork on vintage cars. And yeah, done a couple of Rovers, a Renault, a lovely uh, little uh, Singer sports car, an Aston Martin. And now, I'm stood in front of a gorgeous 1938 uh, Delahaye 135M that was bodied by the Carlton Carriage Company in London and is the only example of this car in the world. So here's an old section of the timber that's uh, come out of this Delahaye and is just falling apart. There's just no structural integrity whatsoever. So using it as a pattern, a new section of English ash has been made and is ready to go into the body now. This is another car in our workshop, a 1932 Singer Junior four-door saloon. So on this car, we've uh, uncovered a little bit of interesting history. This nice little enamel plaque. So this dates from World War II and as it says, unauthorised passengers not permitted. Uh, and in World War II, yeah, vehicle use was severely restricted. We stood at my workshop, World War II Nissan Hut, formerly the Red Cross Hut, which was uh, formed part of the uh, American Army camp when they were here during World War II. Specifically, the, the Easy Company of the 506th Regiment of the 101st Airborne, the famous band of brothers. And um, to um, use this building as my workshop to restore these gorgeous uh, vintage cars is an immense privilege. I think it's, it's a partnership as such between, between myself and the customers to see these gorgeous vehicles return to the road. And it's a shared passion of keeping history alive. That's, that's how I see it.